This is a review and demo of the Duet Display app. So I'll start by just launching the app. It takes very little time to boot up, as you can see here. That blink, that means it's begun. And you can see on my iPad, that is actually the, the background of my desktop. And I have iTunes open on my computer. I'm just going to drag iTunes over to my iPad just to see how it works. So there we go. I have I have the desktop version of iTunes on my iPad and you can navigate it with the touch interface. So as you can see that it's not perfect, right? It's a bit touchy, it's a bit finicky, but you can still get the job done. And here I am just navigating the and iTunes interface. And this is not the iPad version of iTunes. This is the the MacBook Pro, the computer version. This is just to be clear. So here I'm just showing the touch interface. Um, it's not not as smooth as you can see in the marketing video, but it's it's pretty good. It it functions well overall, I'd say. So now I'm just going to launch another app, Lightroom, which tends to be more resource intensive. So here's a picture that I took, actually, of my brother. Not that it matters, but I'm going to try to get iTunes on my iPad. I'm going to try to get Lightroom on my iPad. And the, see the box at the top of my iPad? There's actually a notification. So you can still get notifications from your other apps, which is a nice feature. It doesn't completely block everything off. So as you can see, I successfully got Lightroom on my iPad and I can navigate it. I can navigate through Lightroom very similar, the very, very similar to how you navigate any other app or just any other um, feature of the iPad. So it works pretty well in that sense. Um, however, I cannot open pictures. I, can, I try double clicking, but it does not work. So some things don't work properly. Here I am trying to open the sidebar. And it takes a few attempts just because of the size of the screen and how responsive it is. Sometimes the touch doesn't register. So it's not quite seamless, you know. As some, some work still needs to be done to optimize the functionality. But the display looks great though. One thing I do have to mention is this app is resource intensive, right? Like your computer really starts to work and you can hear it whenever you have this app open, especially when you have multiple web pages, multiple applications, multiple programs. So here I'm trying to show how dynamic it is. So there is no lag whatsoever. Um, as I drag the sliders on Lightroom, it changes instantaneously. So if you're concerned about any lag, that's not the case. However, this does require a wired setup. So you have to plug in your iPad to your computer. There's no Wi-Fi or wireless um, dual display here. It's entirely wired. I am just navigating through Lightroom again. Just trying to show just trying to show it in action, you know, it's it's one thing to see the marketing video, but it's another to actually see it function. Another thing I should mention is the app runs at sixty frames per second. It ha at least it has the capability to. Now you have the option to turn that down to thirty frames, but um, it's, it's definitely possible to run it at that speed. However, it, it is more resource intensive, as you can see. Here I am running it at 60 frames per second, and it's running pretty well. Um, I have a 2011 MacBook Pro upgraded with an SSD and 8 gigs of RAM, so it's an older computer, but it's still, um, it's still somewhat powerful because of the upgrades. So the display, again, looks phenomenal. This, I have the iPad Pro. So I have the retina display and put it to good use. Um, something else I wanted to show was 
um, a web page with a Word document open. So if you want to imagine a, a college student working on a project, right, you might need to look up citations or resources or papers while typing a paper, while typing a document. So that's what I'm trying to simulate here. I have a Word document open on my computer on Pages, which is a um, Apple analog of Microsoft Word. Um, Pages is a great app. And then I have just a web page open. This is a this is a web page on the Johns Hopkins website. Just a but by no means is this app perfect. It really struggles on intensive programs like Photoshop. As I'm shown here, I attempt to import a, an image. I drag it in and it simply does not load. It normally does. But here it just doesn't load. It shows that Duet just really struggles in handling intensive programs. Now I'd like to end on that note. Duet is a great app for turning your iPad Pro into a secondary display. However, it's not perfect. It certainly doesn't rival a traditional secondary display. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks.